back. Woo! That was some good. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Ho! Oh, solo dolo mission today. I am not. I, I will admit it right now, y'all. I am not uh, very sure that we're going to kill very many at all. But, you know, it's one of the things you never know. I got a goofy old decoy, the old wind-driven spinner wing decoys. Uh, I used one back when I was young for teal just because I was broke and it was the only thing I could afford. Well, we went yesterday looking for a new uh, electric spinning wing decoy. Any of the brands, any of them. Walmart didn't have any of them. Dunham's didn't have any of them. I was poop out of luck. The only thing that I found at Walmart was shells, which I'll show you what I'm shooting in a minute. Sorry for the wind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got a lot of storms, heavy, heavy thunderstorms rolling in uh, t this evening. Crazy south wind today. And uh, I figured before it gets nasty for the next several days, I'm going to get out here in the evening, afternoon, midday, whatever you want to call it, and give it a try. Check out the setup. Woo! Record high temperatures today. It's supposed to be 88 degrees south wind. I'm going to fry out here. But here we go. <laughs> this is the Lucky Duck Air Dove. Bought it for $25.99. Almost as much as a baby mojo. Uh, but that's all I had. So I've never used one of these. Uh, not the Dove ones ever. I don't know what it looks like. We have enough wind to try it. Right? So let's see how it works. This is my ammo of choice today. I had an option of Winchester, Federal, and Estate. This was 39 something for four boxes. It's a hundred round deal. This is Estate. Estate was the priciest. Sorry for the wind again, guys. Estate was the priciest of the three at Walmart. Uh, the Federal was 37 something, and I believe the Winchester was like 35, 36 something. But we're gonna try the Estate, see how it goes. Huh. Well, the wind's coming from that way. I knew that would happen. It's facing the wrong way, but I don't think that'll really matter. It looks pretty good. I like how it slows down with the wind, picks back up. It honestly looks pretty natural from afar. I'm excited to see what this does. Seriously, I have not had a good, a lot of good luck whatsoever with this spot. This is a railroad track. If um, y'all have been here a while, you have seen me try to hunt it. I've never killed a bunch. They're hard to intrigue for whatever reasons. But today, with that dude, you never know, could be a game changer. Let's sit down and get to work. All right, before we hopefully shoot something, uh, a couple things. Number one, if you've ever thought about getting a full sleeve tattoo, think again. Uh, I love it. I'll probably get more just because that's who I am. But when it's hot out, it's really hot. Uh, tattoos that much covered up on your arm man it's hot like I'm talking a lot hotter than normal my right arm I don't have a full sleeve and the difference in temperatures all the time is one thing number two um, if you're interested we have hunts available November December we have uh, duck and goose mixed hunting opportunities available sandhill flyways here in central kansas my own guide service and lodge i love it if you guys have been thinking about coming i would pull the trigger and make it happen here's two pigeons coming false alarm uh, but we have hunts available november december mixed ducks mixed uh, goose you know lots of fields some water hunting January, that's when we really get into the snow geese, the big piles of snows, the massive piles of Canada's, uh, the small birds, not the honkers, the cacklers, the lessers, lots of bands killed in January, y'all. And then half of February, the first half, uh, finishing out goose season, uh, colder temperatures, really vulnerable birds, and uh, the return migration has already started by that time, so we're getting birds back up from the south, which are very fresh at that time because they, they move that distance, they refreshen up and they are easy for the pickings. Sandhillflyways.com, fill out the booking form and I'll get a hold of you. It is crazy windy. Sorry again, y'all. I don't know. Me.
Korean spinning wing objects. These don't go hand in hand that often. Oh, there it goes. Watch out. Dude, you guys can hear the wind. It's well, well at 15, 20 mile an hour, constantly gusts to 25. Uh, the box reads good in uh, 5 mile an hour to 35 mile an hour. Just fired back up again. Are you going to keep going, buddy? Or Okay. I put it together correctly. Um, yeah, look at that. Look at the grass behind it. It's blowing. Well over 5 mile an hour. What in the heck? Is it just me? Like, I've moved it probably five times. Come on. Oh, look. There we go. Okay. It is perfectly straight up and down. I've moved it back and forth, side to side, seeing if I could get a better reaction out of her. I don't know. When, it's, when I first fired her up, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like a game changer. Don't have to worry about batteries? Holy cow. There it goes. I don't know. Maybe just got to touch it every now and then. <laughs> if you guys use uh, wind-powered spinners, drop a comment down there. Let me know. I don't care if it's duck, uh, public, private, dove, pigeon. Tell me. Tell me what you like. If you've built some homemade rigs, tell me. Show me what works. I like to do some homemade projects coming up. Got some fun ideas for the off-season. First flock of pigeons absolutely didn't even take a gander at us. It's so windy. Um, I don't think they're even looking over here. They're staying on their course, fighting the wind. But in other news, <laughs> you guys tell me, I don't know. Yeah. If there was any day to try this thing, it'd be today. I mean, what's going on? Why, is he, why are you backwards? What are you doing? Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's tilt you back a little bit. Will that help? Tilted it back. Let's see if it stays going. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Never claimed to be the smartest man. I know, I know, we haven't even pulled the trigger. But you know what? This is off-season videos, guys. We're just winging it. Just winging it. Let's check it out. Oh, right when I show up. Whoa! It started going. Was it just my presence or what, dude? See how I have it tilted back just a hair bit, back with the wind. I did that earlier. It seemed to help. Y'all seen it. It has been stuck for several, several minutes. Again, look at the grass behind it. All right, let's see how long it takes here. Windy as all get out today. I mean, you tell me. $25.99. I'm just, you know, like I was saying, I'm not the brightest. I never claimed to be. Why? That's ridiculous. I don't care. I'm not out here to start crap. I'm really not. I'm not out here to complain. I was, ex there it goes. Okay. Windiest day of the month out here of the freaking year. And my brand new $26 wind driven spinner won't spin. Not spinning. Windy as all hell. This is what frust frustrates me. And it's not only in the hunting industry. Um, it's in a lot of different industries. But hunting, especially duck hunting. You know, they all say a duck hunter needs a thousand things all the time. And always something new because we're breaking some. And you have calls. All the different species of calls. All the different species of decoys all the different styles of decoys think about the different styles floaters silhouettes full bodies socks all the species of those all the different styles of blinds all the different styles of uh, motion decoys whether they're battery driven motor driven or wind driven um, all the gear that you need you 
it, it frustrates me because it costs a lot of money to do this. To, to be able to dove hunt, pigeon hunt, duck hunt, goose hunt, public, private, marsh, boat, all that stuff. And not only the shotgun and the freaking shells are expensive now, way, 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 way. This 100, uh, 100 round four box deal at Walmart, I used to buy for $23.99, 25 bucks. I remember and it was a hair over 20 bucks. I think they were honestly on the end caps in the aisles for $19.99 with tax. And now they're 39, 37 freaking dollars. What I'm getting at is, where's the R&D? Where's the R&D? Because that freaking spinner should be the one of the most user-friendly items a dove hunter, duck hunter, anything, whatever, would be able to buy and use. Right? Not a lot of technology in it, should be straightforward. You should be able to put that thing in the ground and it just spins like all hell. You know, like think about all the all of the yard ornaments, the spinner things. Dude, all those things you buy for two bucks anywhere at freaking Ace Hardware or Atwoods, literally, and they and they spin and spin and spin and they never break. But this thing that costs 30 bucks, I just don't. It's frustrating. I feel like a lot of us have always been taken advantage of uh, when it comes to products in the waterfowl industry. And it's just not surprising to me. It's, it's really not. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> There's a tornado brewing right over there and I wanna go see it. So, look at this thing. Seriously, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous, not even spinning. Yeah, there we go. Ain't got to worry about it anymore. <laughs> okay, no, I did not plan on buying that and shooting it at all. This was not a skit to get attention or cause drama. Don't think that. Um, I think I'm just trying to get the point across of um, just don't buy shitty products. Um, ask somebody, you know, if you find something that works, don't try something new. And what I'm getting at is, um, it was a couple years ago. Yes, it was two seasons ago. Um, I needed uh, more white snow goose wind socks for myself for snow goose conservation season, right? And a new brand, actually it's an old brand, came out with a new style of wind sock and how they marketed them and what they were supposed to do, what they were made out of, all these technological advancements. Let's put it that way, um, blew me away. I was like, no way, I've always wanted socks that plumed up on their own in low wind. I've always wanted a white sock that was uh, stain resistant. Blah, 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 blah. Come to find out, I opened the first box, me and G-Wagon, Gerald, and the first thing we see without even pulling them out of the freaking box was they were blue. They were neon blue. They were not white. I mean like neon blue. You ever seen like a one of them big fluorescent lights like in gymnasiums and stuff where they're like blue? That's what they were. All of them were freaking blue. I was like, okay, well, maybe, you know, just use them a couple of times. Maybe the sun will fade them out. Maybe they don't look blue maybe it's just us right now we need to get them out in the field and try them i did mind you i spent six grand 5500 bucks on um i think it was 120 dozen of them so so now i have 120 dozen freaking decoys uh we set the first spread on them uh, i think we almost set them all we set like 110 dozen of them i refused to freaking set them again. They were horrible. When you got out a quarter mile away, out of the spread, standing in the spread, didn't matter, run a drone over it, look at the color, anything, cloudy, sunny, it did not matter that it was blue. Though it was a blue blob on the ground. It wasn't a white blob, it was a blue blob. I got a hold of the company. They were like, oh yeah, well, we haven't heard of that issue. I'm like, oh, well, have you heard of the, the issue of all the tops just breaking off of them when you pull them out of the ground. Yeah, we've heard about that. 
we'll give you some new ones or refund you some money. Yo! What's up? Refund you some money, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, well, where's the R&D in the color? Because that's a very apparent issue. You can see it. You don't have to hunt with the freaking things. You can look at the color of the Tyvek and see that it's not white. He said, yeah, I, I, don't, I guess I don't know how that got overlooked. <clears throat> well, your boy just spent six grand out here on 120 dozen of them. And now I'm up Shit's Creek with literally nothing to do with them. Thank God I found someone to buy them. I didn't have my mic microphone plugged in. It is now. It's windy out still. <laughs> uh, not that that ever mattered for the spinning wing decoy. Uh, but yeah, uh, someone bought them. Uh, I sold them at a very, very, very cheap price just to get rid of them. Uh, to somebody that needed them, didn't have any decoys, yada, yada, yada. It worked out. Uh, they refunded me some money. Uh, they're like, thanks for bringing it up, you know, sorry. And I was like, well, like, I guess, thank God it's me that bought them and can afford it a little bit. And not some dude, you know, some kid or kids that clan together and buy them and put all their money together. Like, <clears throat> where's the R&D? Where is the R&D on these new products? Do you just build a product not use it at all and just sell it to thousands of people like do you do you test your products now number one um the brand of this spinning wing decoy here i love them we use nothing but um their uh electric battery motor operated duck spinning wing decoys i love them they're on remotes they're very reliable so let's just get that across here um, but I, I just, it's frustrating because I've seen the lack of, it's just the lack of, in a lot of these products in the hunting industry, especially duck hunting, because, uh, if something is new and looks cool and has a pretty face behind it or someone who is a, of influence, you could sell a freaking turd, you know, and that's what I'm sick of. I'm sick of, uh, folks out there just getting robbed, uh, and, and influenced to buy crap long story short drop your comments down below let me know what you guys want to see uh this was a funny video how it turned out i did not plan again i didn't i shot that decoy because i never want to rely on it again in my in my life i don't want to take it to the field and rely on it because i know it freaking sucks i would have way better luck building my own wind driven spinner decoy than to ever rely on that thing again especially in a 35 mile an hour wind Take care of y'all, but until next time.